Oh, dang, I got the Google Pixel 5a, so I'm going to be doing an unboxing on it and giving you my first impressions. Now, this is actually a pretty affordable phone. It starts at 450 doesn't have 5G support, but the tech specs on it are pretty darn good. Now, I got the wrapping off the bottom, so we're just going to take the top off it, and I'm excited to see what this thing looks like. So let's do this. Oh, yeah. All right, so yeah, the phone looks nice for sure. I'm going to take it out, and we're also going to see what else is in the box. Now, as we are getting into this, if you guys could tap the like button on the studio, I would greatly appreciate it. And it looks like we got a little SIM card popper, user manual at the top in blue, I'm assuming. And then we've got the uh, charging cable and charging plug. Man, I'll tell you what, I miss the days where you used to get, like, free headphones in the box. I guess those days are just long over with, though, huh? All right, so this uh, cable is actually pretty long, and then... Yeah, this plug is pretty massive as well. Wow. Okay, now let's take a look at the actual phone, right? So um, as far as the display, you know, you get a 6.34 inch OLED HDR display. It's got Gorilla Glass on the front of the screen. So Gorilla Glass is awesome, obviously. Battery, 4680 mAh battery. So the battery life on this phone is going to be outstanding for sure. Camera wise, 12.2 megapixels, got some 16 megapixel ultra wide zoom, and we're going to turn this baby on. So I also wanted to kind of like skip through the startup to save some time here for everybody. Um, but this is the stock wallpaper. One of the things I always like to check out on, you know, any of these new phones, what other wallpapers come, you know, preloaded. So let's just take a quick look at that. Okay, all right, so actually um, there's some Mandalorian wallpapers in here. That's kind of cool, right? Got some Baby Yoda in there. All right, not bad. Then they've got some like artsy type of wallpapers as well. These actually look pretty cool. There's a couple at the top I actually like, so I think I'm going to actually switch it up. Yeah, I like this one right here. I'm going to go with this. Okay, so now taking a look at the phone, you know, the display on it, you're really getting that whole thing. So, you know, just be aware of that. I had a chance to take one picture, and it's funny because I took a picture of the Pixel 5a box. So we're going to just take a quick look at it. Now, I can tell you it looked really good, you know, even though this is my first picture on the phone. Just zooming in, you can kind of see that, like, you know, the quality on it looks really good. So, yeah, I mean, the camera is definitely uh, good to go. As far as video recording, I haven't done any of that yet. Kind of just set this up real quick, but it does 4K by 60 frames per second, which is nice. Um, you know, and then of course, the next thing I want to do here is kind of just check out some of the performance, some of the loudness on this phone. I'm going to throw up some left to survive gameplay. Uh, as far as the processor in this phone, it's got a Snapdragon 765G processor. So the phone's going to be very fast. And that was something I've kind of picked up on, even getting the phone started just now. It was extremely fast to load up. Anyways, I'm going to play this game for like a minute to a minute and a half just to check out some of uh, you know, the performance of the phone. Like I said, some of the loudness, and uh, let's do it.
Okay, so when it comes to gaming on this phone, it's really good. Like I said, the phone is fast. You really get the whole display on this. Plus, I like the Gorilla Glass. Now, there was one other game I wanted to throw up here, which is Altos Odyssey, just to go over some more of the performance of it. So I'm going to play this for like another minute to maybe like a minute and a half, and I'm going to give you my final thoughts and first impressions on the Pixel 5 8. Okay, so I'm definitely impressed with what I'm seeing so far on the Pixel 5a. You know, I wasn't sure what to expect. I don't buy a lot of these Pixel phones. This one, I like the display size. It's got a nice design. Camera's good on it. Processor's fast. There's a bunch of other things to like as well. Now, I'm going to be doing some more videos on it pretty soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching it. We'll see you in the next one.